Yeah, yeah, you don't see much of Judy. Judy is usually behind the scenes. Look at how this is very simple. And what do we have in here? We got a beautiful cherry head tortoise right here. Oh, this is one this of the larger ones. a little ones. bigger, yeah. Wow, how old, do you know how old that one is? I think this one is about two and a half. Wow, look at that. Wow, how beautiful is that? Look at how beautiful and light. This is just a normal sulcata. Now, it's a bit older, but right. there's a normal. Oh, you're a tough guy, I'm sorry. Holy smokes, and he's got some real cool fluting as well. Look at this guy. The biggest albino known. That's incredible. What was this guy? Are you from the Bronx? What's going on here? Hey, what are you doing? Look at this guy. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna joust me. Stay there. Stay there. Oh gosh, this guy is no joke. Come here, yo. Oh, I'm gonna lift you up, turn you around, because you're being a naughty boy. Hey, what's going on? As promised, we're back at Angel's Hatchery. We're with Judy. Hi. Uh, yeah, you don't see much of Judy. Judy uh, is usually behind the scenes, but not That's really, right. actually. You know, usually I'm talking with Paul, yeah. but this is his better half. And, and I'm we're, ducking. And, and you're ducking out. <laughs> you're also wounded, but we'll uh, we'll go easy on Judy here All today. Right. We won't let you walk around too much. Right. But um, I just wanted to show you guys, they are not just fish. They're also tortoise aficionados, if you will. And I wanted to show you how they have things set up here. So maybe you guys can get some ideas. Look at how this is very simple. This is just a little bit honey bunches of oats, <laughs> cut it in half and it's now a hide. And what do we have in here? We got a beautiful cherry head tortoise right here. Gosh, they are gorgeous. I love this species. And I like the way you can really feel the heat coming off these heat lamps. So we know that the baby tortoises want to bask in higher temperatures. Here's a nice red foot. So you have cherry heads and red foots here, right, right. Uh, which I, I really do love okay. the cherry heads. Let me see. Sometimes you can tell. Yeah, see, what, how you tell the cherry head is because they have that black plaster on. Mm -hmm. But I'm even getting better at just looking at, you can even look at the carapace right. and you see, see sometimes. You see the marbling. Right. And then you know it's a good So you got a cherry head here, yeah. right? Yeah. This to me, I don't know. <laughs> it, oh, see, that's a tough one. That's like right in the middle. It's right in the middle. It's possible, yeah. I, I'm, I'm gonna go with uh, red foot on this one right. because let me just see. I love this stuff. We're, we're turtle nerds right here. All right, well wait, <laughs> this actually, I'm gonna go back and take back what I said. I'm gonna say cherry head. Uh, but you can see there's a real difference between the plastrons of the cherry heads, which have that black in it, and then the plastrons of the red foots, which don't have much black or any right, black at all. Right. And then, you know, Old Faithful, the yep. sulcata, but these the are- The regulars, they're adorable. Look, look at how well you guys are amazing at raising up these sulcatas. Um, beautiful shells and real light, almost sand color. Mm -hmm. You guys see that? I'll, I'll always love sulcatas no matter how common they are. But um, what people haven't are. seen in a while are these Herman's tortoise. My gosh, they are gorgeous. And you know, these are a Mediterranean species. Mm -hmm. And uh, they don't get big. And all these you offer, right? You offer right. for sale at Angel's we Hatchery? Do. Yeah, they're beautiful. Um, again, I love getting tortoises from people that know what they're doing. And before you guys even, we even came here, Judy was on poop patrol going, <laughs> going crazy. Okay, so it was pretty good. So we got some Missouri tortoise diet that this little guy's right. eating right now. And Lots then greens. Uh, some greens. Mm -hmm. And again, real simple guys, if you're dealing with babies, sometimes you have a lot of them and you need to uh, spend the money on basically the animals without having to worry about furniture. Oh, this is one this of the larger ones. a little bigger, yeah. Wow, how old, do you know how old that one is? I think this one is about two and a half. Wow, that's incredible. That's awesome. But they grow so fast from coming out of the show. They do. Yeah, yeah baby These tortoises. Are about three weeks old. Three weeks, may I pick one up? Sure. So look at this. Oh, and their umbilicus has healed nicely. And again, they'll have different size, uh, different growth uh, spurts. Some of the babies are gonna grow faster than others. And we have to remember in the wild, a lot of these babies will hatch, most get eaten, but it's the ones that can grow the fastest that are, have the better chance of survival, the ones that are just more oh, robust. That makes sense. Yeah, so that's that's kind of what they do. But we, what they are known for here at Angel's Hatchery, uh, more than anything, is of course, they're beautiful albino sulcata tortoises. May I? Sure. My gosh, and we gave Angel back a long time ago. And- uh, Doing great. That's fantastic. Yeah, this is awesome, man. But look at these guys are gorgeous. Just incredible See little tortoises. With their eyes and, wide open. Yeah, look at that. Wow, how beautiful is that? You know, it'd be fun. 
Oh my God, the pink eyes. That's how you know it's an albino. Right. How many years ago did you guys get the adults? Let's see. We got Norman. I think we got Norman about 22 years ago. 22 maybe? years ago. Was he an adult when you got him? He was about that big. Oh gosh, uh, that's incredible. He's gigantic, you'll see. Yeah, uh, let's, we should definitely get out and see. I'd also love to see where you keep the, uh, the Hermans. Okay. So do you mind if we go on out and no, see the Hermans? No, no, no. And we'll show you guys Norman. Storm and Norman, the albino tortoise. So this is the inner workings. Here's all their incubators running right now. Really well done facility here. And how long have you said you've been on the premises? Gosh, Kenan. You don't even know. <laughs> it's been a long time, guys. They have a beautiful property down here in South Florida. And what I love about their enclosures, as you're about to see, is they've got these cool rocks that they probably just dug up out of the ground here. Right. And they made beautiful enclosures. So here, may I walk in the enclosure? Sure. Go ahead. So they've got a really nice water bowl here. Okay, they can drain it easily, just formed it out of concrete. Uh, the tortoises can use it, but here's their red foot enclosure. And they, you know, I took a lot of inspiration from many of the people that I saw in Florida. And uh, my red foot enclosure also has large cap rock that we've used uh, to yeah, create a barrier. Way, right? Exactly, because they can climb, as and I've found out. They're pretty they're good climbers. Artists. They are escape artists and you'll see them wandering around the yard sometimes. So they feed them on the hay, which is good because it keeps the food off of the ground. And it also, uh, they might nibble on some hay, which is a good thing for them. So really, really awesome. Look at this really beautiful enclosure. And we even got a little fox turtle that made its way in here. So that's neat. Yeah, but they're really cool. And these guys are using the rocks as a bit of a place to hide. So awesome tortoise enclosure here. And you know, guys, if you live in an area with different type of rock, mine it, use the rock, use these things for your animals. And you might be able to save some money by using the natural resources found in your area. Oh, wow, look at that. I, I love the uh, these kind of tiki inspired enclosures also. And these are all the baby or juvenile rather, mm -hmm. those are salt yeah. And all of these are offered for sale. Right. Yeah. So this is pretty amazing environment for them. So they get fed on these tile. Okay. And that helps wear their beaks down. Um, and it just makes feeding a lot easier Sanitary. for them. Exactly. Beautiful. Beautiful albino. And the okay, cool. And these are where the Hermans live. Very cool. So they're completely well protected. Look at that. Repurposed dog or bird? What are these? Bird uh, kennels or dog? No, they were made for the tortoises. Oh, okay, perfect. Yeah. yeah. Just wire mm -hmm. and then you hog ring them together and now you have an outdoor habitat. So they lay in there. Mm -hmm. That is perfect. Awesome. Those are the parents. Yeah, this is really good too because they're light. And if you want to move them, you could just move them to an area with grass right. and you can give them the graze they want. Yeah. That's really cool. That is awesome. Good stuff. All right. Well, I guess I don't want to make you walk too much, but we All got right. to go see good. Norman. Okay, let's go see Norman. All right. See you in a minute. So check out these enclosures. How cool is this? Wow. There we got. That's why you got that pretty babies. Say, Normals. Right, exactly. Look at how beautiful and light. This is just a normal sulcata. Now, sulcatas can be really dark. They can also be really light. And this is noticeably a beautiful color. I also love, Judy, I just love how the males, yeah, well, they get those nice flares on these marginals. This is a beautiful tortoise. Um, I, I love my sulcatas. They're just an awesome species. They have a lot of personality. They do, they do. It's just one of those animals that if you don't have the space, you got to really think about what you're right. doing. You know, it's just not fair to yeah. them. Yeah. But again, look at these really nice and happy albinos in this beautiful enclosure. Okay, just some corral boards, some posts, no drama. You just kind of make it out, make it go in a straight line. I'm going to walk in here and show everyone. Look, here's another one. Now, these are, of course, a bit older, but right. there's a normal. Oh, you're a tough guy. I'm sorry. Two and, an and an albino. Okay, awesome. Let's go see Norman. How awesome is he? Look at him. Holy smokes. And he's got some real cool fluting as well. Boy. Look at this guy. There it is, everybody. That is an albino adult male sulcata tortoise. Look at those beautiful eyes. That's a special animal right there. The biggest one known 
Really? The biggest albino known. That's incredible. And every year you have babies. Yeah. That's amazing. And right now he's just having he a bit of a feed. Yep. 20 years you've had him. That's incredible. He is beautiful. Now, do you have a, an albino female as well? Or is it just, are you, how does that work? Well, we pick out who we want. To him to breed with. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so he's, he's all alone. Okay, very yeah. cool. But obviously he's doing good. He's doing well because all of these are albino sulcatas. Wow, look at that. That is awesome. I love the way you have everything laid out. Oh, here's a girl laying eggs right now. Timing is everything. Timing is it. Right on cue, guys. Let's go have a look and see what she's up to. I'll let Judy go first there. But yeah, that's so awesome. Yeah, let's see what stage she's at. So this is really cool. You guys get to see, um, I'm sure you've seen it before on my channel, but it's neat to see how they do different things here. Now, I have to ask you this, Judy, not to get too technical, but I know that the ground here in, uh, in Homestead has a lot of rock in it. Yeah. Did you add soil to this? No. You didn't. So this is just a naturally right. sandy area. Cool. Because sometimes it's hard to dig here in extreme South Florida because of all the, I believe it's called oohite, right. yeah. coral, uh, coral um, rock that they have down here. Because at one point, this was all ocean. <laughs> we were underwater here in South Florida. And who knows, maybe we'll be underwater again sometime. But in the meantime, we're just going to let this guy move. And then we're going to walk in. If he doesn't, in. you're just going to get in and I'm going to shut the door. Okay, I can do that. I'll, I'll, if you want to open, I can move him. Okay. I do this all day, every day here. Because they'll fight each other and we don't want any oh drama. Here. here, guys. Oh, yeah, he is a character, this one. This one's got attitude. Uh -huh. He starts He starts ramming my ear. He starts talking about personality. What was this guy? Are you from the Bronx? What's going on here? Hey, what are you doing? Look at this guy. Look how he's standing yeah, up. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna joust me. And I'm not saying that everyone from the Bronx is tough, but I used to ride my bike in the South Bronx. Some tough people in the Bronx, but check it out. Oh, wow. Wait, it's, this isn't an albino though, is it? No, no, it's yeah. just this dusty. Yeah, but she's so pretty. And she's a young female, guys, so check this yeah. out. They will lay eggs at this size. And as they get larger, they'll be more fertile and they'll have more clutches. Um, and the females, I have a female in my house that's about, oh, let's let's make sure he he's coming to protect his girl. Look at this guy. Sometimes I've had males actually disturb the females while they're laying. And actually, when she's dropping eggs, they're ramming and crushing the eggs. So I want to keep him away from her while she does her business. My goodness, look at this guy. He really doesn't like me. What's that? And want to lock him up? Yeah, let's do it. I'm working on the farm today here at Angel's Hatchery. Come on, tough guy. Come on, let's go, dude. I don't want to hit my head. Now you promise you're going to let me out, right? Oh boy. Here we go. I'm now a permanent resident. Come on. Come on, and we're out of here. Get him. <laughs> oh, you got it. Yeah, here, hold on. Let's get that out of there. Oh gosh, stay there, stay there. Oh gosh, this guy is no joke. Come here, yo. Oh, I'm gonna lift you up, turn you around, cause you're being a naughty boy. You're being a naughty boy. Let's just clean this up. All right, I think you're good now. There we go. Beautiful, I got it. Whoa. Is he ramming? Okay, you almost fell. Yeah. You're still Here, learning how to walk on that broken wing. <laughs> That's right. There. Okay. Hopefully. He's not going nah, he ain't coming out. And this is, of course, where they stay on cold nights, right? Yep. Cool? Yeah, this coming weekend. Yeah, it's going to be cold. we got a lot of work to do in preparation okay. for that. All right, everyone. So there you go. Another little visit to Angel's Hatchery. Thank you, Judy. You're very welcome. I appreciate it. I know you're, you're not in tip-top shape. Not 100%. Right. But... Uh, Mentally, you're there, thankfully. <laughs> for, for the reason, that's debatable? Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, add me to that list, too. We're going to let this young lady continue to dig. There'll be more eggs. And if you're interested in purchasing one of the tortoises from these fine people, we're going to leave their uh, phone number in the description, Angels Hatchery. You can check them out online also at angelshatchery.com. See you guys later.